Welcome drone video fans. This is the 14th video in my series on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County, Ohio. Today we'll be looking at the Root Road Bridge, which is uh, located in um, um, Monroe Township and it spans the uh, western branch of the Ashtabula River. Um, the uh, bridge was renovated in uh, 1982 when it was raised 18 inches it had a center uh, concrete support added underneath it and some uh, laminated girders added along the inner walls here we're flying up to it and you can see that the maximum uh, height uh, is of a vehicle that can pass is nine feet four inches and they have that uh, steel bar there just to make sure that uh, nobody tries to uh, get anything in that's uh, too much larger, kind of uh, panning in on the face plate where it says the Root Road uh, Bridge. And then we're going to uh, fly over the top of the bridge itself and uh, get to the center and, and uh, kind of pan to the uh, north and to the south. This bridge, like many of the bridges, runs uh, east-west. We're facing in the western direction right now. and. Um, once we get to the center of the bridge, uh, we'll stop and, and uh, pan uh, and get a shot of the uh, branch of the Ashtabula River that this 114-foot uh, uh, bridge spans. Uh, we're looking south now at the, uh, at the river and panning down a little bit to uh, see the, the river that, uh, uh, that this bridge spans. Um, and you can also see the power lines and power poles which always seem to be running right alongside uh, these bridges whenever I go to uh, shoot them. Uh, we're swinging now uh, slowly to the uh, north and uh, now we're looking north again at the uh, western branch of the Ashtabula River. Uh, kind of silty probably from re recent rains. Uh, the river itself runs over a shale base uh, which is a hard fairly hard rock uh, base uh, now we're going to fly to the uh, uh, to the edge of the of the uh, uh, bridge we're going to climb up a little bit because I noticed these trees right at towards the uh, edge of the bridge and you can see that they're uh, uh, overhanging the bridge a little bit so I I kind of moved myself a little to the left and then uh, got ready to, to drop down. Uh, instead of going past the uh, the guard that they have posted in front of it, they have some beams and pipes in, posted in front of it to reinforce that nine foot uh, limit. I decided to fly between that and the bridge, drop it down and then turn back over the uh, river itself so that I could uh, uh, lower myself and, and get out there and, and get a view of the uh, bridge from the south side. So here we're going to um, uh, start to proceed uh, south over the uh, Ashtabula River uh, and we're uh, again we're heading south and we have to drop down a little bit to get underneath that power wire and once we get down low enough and I skirt these uh, uh, trees that are on the right hand side uh, we'll be able to see the uh, the river itself and we're going to get up to the area where the water is flowing. You'll see that the water is flowing towards me which would mean that the water is flowing north. Uh, you can see it clear, clearly visible there and you also see the the floor of the river is uh, made from shale which is a fairly uh, ubiquitous rock to this area and you see it also on the shoreline there. It's a hard sedimentary rock uh, that much of northeastern Ohio is is based on. Now we're looking at the south face of the uh, uh, Root Road Bridge and we're gonna uh, take a little stop here and look a little bit more at the at the uh, river running underneath us as I pan down and you can see the the water running over the rock and you can see the uh, shadow of the uh, uh, phantom as it hovers over the uh, the uh, river. Um, I've often wondered sometimes how they got the names for these bridges 
and the best information I could get on this one was that uh, back in the 19th century, uh, Dwight and Gertrude Root uh, were married. They had a son uh, named Herbert Root who married Francis uh, Whitlam. Uh, John Whitlam was one of the first, if not the first, superintendents of roads in Ashtabula County. So in deference to his son-in-law, I think he may have named this road Root Road and thus the bridge became the Root Road Bridge. Now, that's speculation on my part, but you know there's no uh, exact records uh, of, uh, of how it got its name, but uh, just looking on the history, um, that seems to be appropriate. We're looking now down to the east end of the bridge, uh, the whole entire face of the uh, south face of the bridge, and uh, catching a little bit of the uh, of the top side of the bridge. As we uh, turn and our, ourselves around, we're going to try and back ourselves out of that uh, uh, little valley that we were in while we were shooting the um, uh, the river and get in position here in order to take a pass through the uh, bridge itself. As we get closer uh, and inside the bridge and I adjust the um, exposure levels on the camera, you'll be able to see in better clarity the town lattice construction of the bridge and see some of the renovations that were uh, made. For example, on the left and right hand side you see the laminated girders which were added in the 1982 restoration. Much of the rest of the bridge is in uh, original shape. You'll see uh, the peg and hole um, construction where uh, holes were drilled through these lattice timbers on the sides and pegs were used to uh, fasten them together. Uh, but and then you can definitely see the the more modern uh, uh, use of uh, metal uh, and steel uh, parts used to tie those uh, girders along the, the sides along either side of the of the bridge to uh, give it additional support. As I said, the entire bridge in 1982 was raised 18 inches, um, and a central concrete support was put underneath it so it's very sturdy uh, the interior is in very good shape uh, as we uh, sort of move along here and we're looking now to the north uh, as we move, move along here along the sides you can see some of the uh, uh, peg and hole uh, wood constructions in the lattice work and uh, then once we get to the end over here we'll be clear of the uh, of the bridge now that we're outside of the bridge, we're uh, aimed east uh, down Root Road and you see the little parking area where I've uh, parked my car and um, uh, there, there is parking on, on either side. I'm turning around here to uh, make a, a, a different sort of uh, pass over the top of the, uh, of the bridge, I wanted to kind of get a shot with the, um, uh, with the roof line of the bridge. Uh, which also included the water running underneath it. So we're going to gain a little altitude here and um, then fly over, over the bridge and then uh, pan the uh, gimbal of, of the camera down so that we'll be able to shoot uh, straight down. There we go. We're now uh, shooting straight down, getting a little more altitude. Uh, and uh, we're going to fly over the top of the of the bridge so that we can uh, see uh, both the uh, bridge roof and the um, west branch of the Ashtabula River which runs underneath it. Now the the amount or the length of uh, the bridge that actually spans the river is only 89 feet however the the entire length of the bridge is 114 feet so there is uh, you know some part of the bridge that tree on the on the right hand side uh, always uh, was concerning me so I I uh, gave it a wide berth whenever I got uh, too close to it um, as we fly back now um, again we see the, uh, the the flow of this river is from 
the left hand side of your screen to the right hand side of your screen which would be a northerly direction and uh, again there's uh, trees over here on this side that we have to avoid now that we've cleared the bridge we're going to uh, uh, drop down in altitude and uh, bring the gimbal back up to uh, face the uh, which what is the eastern face of the bridge and then do uh, uh, I guess what a cinematographer might call this is a uh, flying fadeaway shot from the bridge here we go we're backing off and keeping the bridge uh, in view there as we fly away uh, down the road um, this bridge again is the Root Road Bridge it's in Monroe Township in Ashtabula County uh, built in 1868 it's um, very scenic a nice place to come and visit if you've got the time uh, to check these bridges out there's plenty of parking there's um, usually a fair amount of traffic going up and down there so uh, with locals so you'll have people to uh, ask questions uh, if uh, if they uh, take the time to stop hope you enjoy the film and there will be more coming at least uh, three or four more bridges uh, thanks for watching